Hi everyone. One of the features that I really liked in Roam Research was that any tasks or to-dos that you created anywhere would automatically be referenced in a master to-do file. It made work a whole lot easier as it allowed you to see all your tasks in one central location. I am extremely excited to share a script I came across which enables this functionality in Obsidian. The script has been created by Mike McLennigan and is part of a bigger collection of scripts called Obsidian Utilities. I will immediately be doing a follow-up video which will cover how to get some more functionalities that are missing in Roam using these scripts. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. All right, let's get started. All right, so the very first thing we'll do is we'll have to check if we have Ruby present because the script runs on Ruby. So to do that, I have my terminal open. Now in terminal, you just have to type Ruby minus V. And if you have it present, it should show it here. In this case, yes, we have it present. So it's showing here. Now let's continue forward. The next thing we'll do is we'll just open up the GitHub repository. So to do that, I have already, I ha already have it open. Now what you have to do is you have to download the file from here. So in code, click download zip. And just click save. Once it's saved, we can close this. Let's open up Obsidian Utilities and uh, just double click. That will create Obsidian Utilities over here. Once that is open, you have these files available. I'll be going through most of these scripts by the next video. But for this video, let's get started on the script. So I, what we are working is we're working on the to-do script. Click open with Atom and that's it. It'll open up the to-do script. Once the to-do script is open, all we have to do is we have to change this path over here. So if you remember, our path was in Dropbox. So let's just put Dropbox. Oops. And ahead of Dropbox, we'll say Obsidian. And ahead of that, we'll say Flat Para. If you remember, this was our uh, vault name. So just by doing that, this file will now do everything. Basically, it'll scan all the directories as well as the subdirectories and any file, any markdown file that has a to do task in it. It'll automatically save it into a master to do file. And if the to do file is already there, then it's going to rewrite that and show all the tasks that are not done yet. So we save this. So I do command S that's saved. Now we put it down. So let's open flat para. I have already opened the vault. So this is the vault which is open. Now I was just going through some of the tasks that are there. If you see in the journal, the journal that we had created, we already have a to do section. Let me just put something in that to do section. Let's put a sample task. Again, for a to-do, this is how you put a to-do. Now a sample task is created. If I click it, it's done. If I don't, it's not. So sample task is already marked and saved here. Now uh, let's see if it picks this up. And at the same time, I think we have a lot of files have to-do tasks that are present already. So let's just go through them. I In Markdown also, we have these tasks that we had mentioned. Yeah, these tasks are there and the, it should be there in multiple places. So let's run it. The way we run it is very simple. Let's, this is saved here. So let's open this. Let's do CD. And one simple way if you're running a Mac is just drag this and drop it here and press enter. And that's it. You're inside this folder. All you now have to do is type Ruby and to do dot rb that's it this will run the script now obviously we are doing this manually but uh the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to create a cron job and i'm i'll, I'll set it that every say at every 12 o'clock at night or 12 in the morning in the afternoon i'm sorry it'll automatically uh see the script and it'll see all the tasks and it'll aggregate them all to all for me in one shot now as soon as i press enter it's done i have not got any error so here there should be a file that is created, not automatically picking the file up. But uh, let's just close it and reopen it. Give me a second. 
Actually, after you opening the file, also it's not done anything, and I think I realized what mistake I've made. So let's just go back and correct it. So again, let's go here. Remember to put a back a slash after your folder, and that will take care of it. I hopefully this should work now. Let's give it a try again. So we put this down, and let's do Ruby to do. I have still not got any error, but oh yeah, now it's created the file. So as soon as you come here. You can see this has aggregated all the to-do tasks that were there, and the best part is you can just click. For example, template also had to-dos, so template had these three tasks. It's picked that up as well, and it's marked. It's automatically picked from which file it has, uh, you know, picked these tasks up. So task two was also picked up from here. Now I just want to try two things. So task one was already done. It's not picked task one. It's picked task two. Let's. Mark task two as wait. Actually, sample task. Yes, it has picked that up. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just mark sample task as done, and we'll rerun the script. And also let's mark this no not in template. Let's mark um, N J A J as done. And hopefully now in to dos this should not come. So again, all you have to do is rerun the script, and that's it. It's rerun the script. This is all in real time. So let's go out. Let's go back in. Yes, NJAJ is missing, and the task sample task that we had created is also missing from the to dos. So this is a very easy way of aggregating all your to dos in one file. And not having to, you know, jump around and figure out which tasks you had mentioned anywhere. So anywhere in your file system, if you mention a task, even if it's inside folders or you know subdirectories, nest it completely, it'll still pick that up and it'll show the task. Just remember that the script overwrites the todo.md file each time it is run. If you manually write any notes to todo.md and then run the script, those notes will be completely lost. So don't put anything over there. Let this just serve as a aggregator of all your tasks in one file. If you found this video helpful, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. If you have any suggestion or comments, then please don't forget to put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.